Okay YouTubers, this is Christine, aka Skinny Brit to be. I've been watching the weight loss community for quite some time, trying to pick up tips, hints, pros, cons, etc. and trying to make up my mind as to whether or not this is the journey I wish to take. Many of you have been very inspiring and have helped me along the way. So I felt it about time to sort of introduce myself and let you know of my own personal journey. As you might suspect, I'm a Brit. I live in England, uh, in the southwest, in the county of Devon. Very pretty little place. Um, and I've struggled with weight loss all my, well, I say almost all my life, um, until I probably left home and had children I was a skinny teenager. I was one of that band of weight loss problems. My shoulder blades used to stick out like angels wings. There was always a joke in the family. I always had the smallest clothes. The only real problem I ever really had as a kid or a teenager was that my calves were always large and, and in part I put that down to the fact that I used to walk a lot. I used to play tennis and I used to cycle everywhere to see my friends because we're there my friends were quite widely spaced apart but for the last certainly 40 years my weight has yo-yoed up and down up and down up and down and like most of you i've been i've done everything i've done the cambridge i've done weight watchers i've done slimming world i've you know the paper potato soup dart the cabbage dart the the starvation dart and at times I've been quite successful, you know, I've lost large amounts of weight, but I've never found anything that I could actually sustain for any length of time. And I suppose, like a lot of you, the, the pure motivation just never seemed to stay with me and I could never find a path that was, that, that suited, you know, me and my lifestyle. I've hated exercise all my life and that really, do, even though I used to cycle everywhere as a kid, oh, the, the, one of my lasting memories of school is absolutely hating the sports afternoon where it was hockey and it was raining and the field was muddy and everybody else seemed to enjoy chasing up and down, getting wet, muddy, sweaty. But I, I hated it, absolutely hated it. But I obviously was fairly fit as a kid or else I wouldn't have kept the weight off, I suppose. And also there was a post-war um, healthy diet going on in our household. Okay, so I suppose after Christmas this year, I decided that enough was enough. I've tossed up weight loss surgery for, oh, for yonks it seems, my sisters pushed me or encouraged me, whichever you like to call it. And so eventually I went to see my GP and asked him about it. And really it was decided that I'd got to do, I got to jump through the hoops because probably pretty similar to the States and most other parts of the, of the world, they don't just give surgery away if you happen to fancy it. And here, uh, most of the health authorities have uh, quite strict guidelines as to when they're prepared to offer you surgery. And my route has taken the, the form of having to attend a six, in fact, it's a four month course at the local hospital led by um, dietitians and um, physiotherapists. Um, it, it's been a series of sort of eight mm, lectures, uh, inspiration, motivation type talks, etc. Um, none of it really on how to do it, more how to approach it. Men, you know, the mental stuff, you know, but um, so much of it. I think when you've lost weight loss, you've had weight loss problems all your life or for a long time, 
you know what kicks you off and what doesn't kick you off. Um, you know what you should do, but for some reason the brain doesn't doesn't attach any importance to it. But this time I've I've reached mm, the end of my tether, and I think this has got to be it. I went to the meetings to begin with, not 100% sure, but I've watched so many of your videos and of course some of you really have had um, probably what you consider d d um, disappointing results, um, but so many of you have worked at it and I think that's been the most important aspect for me, the fact that you've still got to work at it after you've had surgery. Anyway, getting back to my story, um, I'm just mm, this coming week is my last meeting on the ex on the um, program that I'm currently on, and then there is a decision made as to whether or not I can be referred for surgery, and then, God knows how how long does one wait? Um, Nobody seems to have any clear idea of how long I have to wait. There are supposed to be time limits on surgery over here. But again, I just have to wait until I'm actually referred to the surgeon to get any, any sort of accurate idea. Also, because weight loss surgery is becoming more popular over here, or perhaps more, more necessary, um, there are more people trying to go for it, etc. So obviously the queues tend to get longer and longer. But I'm hoping that uh, I, after my program finishes this week, I have to go back and see the hospital um, nurse and the doctor and get weighed and check to see whether I've lost my 10% because they insist, or they are very strongly hinting, that you have to lose 10% before they'll even consider you for, for surgery. And, and at that stage, I shall know whether or not I can carry on forward. I am, though, pleased to report that since I started in earnest checking my weight, etc., and was weighed at the hospital, etc., that I should, this week, meet my 10% target. So they can't, they can't refuse me, hopefully, on those grounds. I've always been a little concerned that maybe my maybe my age may be against me. I've been I've been lucky that I've I've never had diabetes. I've had arthritis, plenty of arthritis, and I've had two knee, knee two knee replacements, which have been quite successful. But with the increase of weight again, you know, getting around is always difficult. So that's where I'm at at the moment. When I get a, uh, some sort of more updated information, I'll try and keep you posted. But so far, weight loss to date is 33 pounds without surgery. And I would like to feel that I could improve on that over the period of the last four months. Anyway, I hope to speak to you soon. And uh, thank you, everybody on the weight loss community for all your help and support. Bye.